Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is Dan W, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Today, we start off reviewing this brand new wave of Marvel Legends with the four Ragnarok wave, and I thought, what better way to start off than reviewing Thor, the mighty Thor himself. Obviously the MCU movie version as seen in the Thor Ragnarok trailers if you've seen them. Very much look forward to seeing the movie but it doesn't come out until the end of October in the UK so still a few months away but it's nice to have these figures and they do look great up close and in person. Obviously the builder figure is Hulk in his more gladiator sort of combat gear contest of champions if you will. Uh, so yeah without further ado let's open this guy up and uh, see what we've got. But as always, we always look at the box. We get a picture of Chris Hemsworth as Thor from the movie. Looks pretty good. Then we get a little write-up as always on the box, plus a list of all the figures. In this wave, you need to complete the Builder Figure Hulk. Today, we're reviewing Thor. So there we go. He's in the box. He's got some accessories, which I think are for the Thor uh, Hulk Builder figure, uh, the Hulk helmet and then the Hulk head with a bit of face paint on. Uh, this is meant to be two swords, but for some reason mine's fell out in the box, but it's definitely in there if you can hear it shake. Uh, so yeah, let's open it up, see if we can find that lost sword and review the Thor figure. Pow. And here he is, the son of Asgard himself, Thor, straight out of the box. And first impressions is I'm really liking this figure. All we have to go off so far is the trailer, uh, but he's looking very accurate to the trailer so far. Uh, I really like the armor and the color palette that they've used on the film. I like the metallic blue. Uh, it's a shame that you can't take this helmet off, but in the two pack we're gonna get soon with uh, Valkyrie, I think that's a Target exclusive, you do get an alternative head uh, which hasn't got the face paint on or the helmet. So if you'd prefer to see your Chris Hemsworth Hulk without a helmet, uh, Thor, sorry, without a helmet, then make sure you pick up that two pack so you can mix and match. But yeah, looking really, very good. Uh, let's have a look at the accessories. He comes with these builder figure pieces for the Hulk builder figure. Obviously the Gladiator Spartan 300 style Hulk, the Gladiator Hulk, and the helmet fits on the Hulk head very well. So obviously stay tuned to my channel as I will be reviewing the Hulk last after reviewed the rest of these figures and I very much look forward to reviewing the Gladiator Hulk. Looks really good. For accessories for Thor, we do not get his trademark hammer, uh, but we do get these two swords. Now off the top of my head, I can't remember if he's holding both of these swords in the trailer. I believe he had a shield in one of the trailers. So maybe you customizers out there with one of your spare Captain America shields could customize a, a Thor shield like he's wearing in the trailer. Uh, but for now, he looks great with these two swords. Uh, the swords are a brand new sculpt. Again, I really like the colour part of this metallic style blue. Um, and yeah, he grips on both quite well. So I'm guessing if you were better at me at ACBA, you could get him in some decent poses. But yeah, really liking this four. I thought I'd really quickly um, show you that some of these armour pieces come off. So obviously you see the shin pads here. This just pops off. It's simple as that. Simple pop on and it can pop on any leg. Simple click on, click off. So those shin pads can come off. And then also this shoulder pad uh, can also come off. There's a little peg on the arm, which is a skin tone. So you can't even tell that it's off. So there you go. He's got no uh, armor on now. And if you want them back on, again, simple peg it into the arm. I can't see if the lights are blinding me. I said it's simple, didn't I? There you go. In it goes. Shin pad back on and there you go. His arm is back on. He also comes with this sort of half cape style thing, which again is just pegged into a harness. So if you see under his arm where the waist is, there's a peg there, which just unpegs there and you can see the hole. Um, and then there's also a peg just above the shoulder. Um, and this peg is a little bit deeper. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera. Uh, there's a deeper peg because the hole is also sculpted onto the body. So you go, when you peg it in, you peg it in through the harness and onto the actual figure itself. I suppose that's to make it more secure. Um, again, I'm making it, I'm making it sound more overcomplicated than it needs to be, but it is just a nice little touch to make the figure more secure. And obviously you can take this harness piece off if you will want to, but I quite like the overall look of this Gladiator style for figure. So uh, yeah, maybe get some heat to those uh, wings, but it is nice to see a four figure in his uh, 
helmet as we've yet to really see that in cinematic form. But let me zoom in and just show you the details on this very impressive uh, movie figure. So here's a closer look of the Thor head. And does it look like Chris Hemsworth? You can make your own mind up. I think it does a little bit. They said recently, well, the Hasbro team, they said at San Diego Comic-Con that they're using a new technique to make their face sculpts more accurate to the actors. Um, and I think it does look like Chris Hemsworth a little bit. You can definitely tell it's him. Uh, again, I probably would prefer the unhelmeted head. Or maybe, I don't know how they could have done uh, an interchangeable helmet to be fair without it looking a bit bulky on this figure but still really like the detail and yes I think it looks like Chris Hemsworth I like the face paint sort of detail and the figure uh, the detail on the whole figure is really impressive uh, they go all out with these movie figures uh, with brand new scoops and uh, yeah you can definitely tell they put their money in um, to these figures Really nice crease detail on all of it. I said that, that sort of war paint goes all the way down. Again, as I was mentioning, this pops on and pops off and both legs are the same in those sort of bandage wrap. Um, but yeah, looking very good. Let me just take the cape off. And again, the back is still got a little bit of detail. Not massive paint detail, but again, it's not really needed for these tones. And as I was saying, there's a peg there um, for the cape and then also a peg up here. Um, I don't know if you can see it yet. See how it goes through the harness and into the actual figure. But yeah, I think it looks very, very good. Uh, let me just quickly, briefly go over articulation. Now, a lot of people always say I should do more articulation on this channel, but a lot of YouTubers do articulation and a lot of these figures have articulation in the same point. So I don't like going over it in too much detail, but for the people asking the head, does have a lot of range of motion. He can look very far up and quite far down as well. So that helmet does not hinder the articulation. The arms come all the way at 90. Obviously this piece will come off if you wanna do that, but still, if you wanna get the um, arms at a 90 degrees, they do come all the way out. Obviously, double jointed elbows on both hands, so you can get him flexing. He has a crunch on the ab waist thing, and there you go, it goes forward and it goes back, um, and then, double jointed knees, as always, which is standard, an ankle rocker pivot, um, and yeah, you get some motion um, on the ankles up and down, back and forth, all of that. So yeah, very boring, but I know people wanna know. So that is your articulation for your four figure. Very standard, what you'd expect if you got less articulation than that on a figure, that's when we should be making our complaints to Hasbro. This is what we've come to expect of Marvel Legends so far. And yeah, let's uh, get into some figure comparisons, shall we? So first comparison obviously had to be four meet four. Um, which is the better one? I think aesthetically, this one looks a lot better, but both fours are still very good to be fair. Uh, this one, I always had problems with the articulation. You could never get the arms uh, to go further down than that. Um, obviously the hammer's a nice touch. You can use that hammer on this four if you wanted to, no problem at all. Uh, but I always thought, apart from maybe the cape and the articulation, how you couldn't get it, his arms just to be more relaxed. Um, I thought this four was all right, but I think I do prefer the four Ragnarok, uh, I just, I don't know, I just prefer the design maybe of this one, but both fours are very good, both are about the same height, that one definitely looked more than Chris, like Chris Hemsworth and that one, but that, a little bit, maybe, maybe, but um, yeah, you could use this hammer if you wanted to, you could head swap with these guys, again, these two, very, both quite good four figures for MCU characters, so um, yeah, well done Hasbro. So while we're on the MCU hype, I thought I'd show you two of his counterparts that we hopefully see in the movie in obviously Bruce Banner and Mr. Doctor. I was about to call him Mr. then. Doctor, sorry, Doctor, uh, Stephen Strange. Um, and yeah, to be fair, this Hulk towers above these two figures. I think maybe scale-wise, Hulk is a little bit too big and bulky. Um, but I don't know. Maybe that's how it's meant to look, but it doesn't really come across like that in the film so far. Uh, when you put these three together, for some reason, Stephen Strange just looks so small. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, but hopefully all three of these characters will be in Thor Ragnarok, which should be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait until we get an Infinity War wave where they're using this new photo face scanning technology and we can have an updated Stephen Strange and an updated Bruce Banner because they look very plain and plasticky compared to this Hulk head, uh, forehead, sorry. Uh, but yeah. 
And just to end my comparisons, here he is compared to the comic version of his father, obviously Odin. Um, and yeah, these two scale quite well together because obviously Odin should be a little bit taller, him a little bit shorter. Doubt very much we're ever going to get an Odin figure for your MCU sort of shelf. But this guy could fit in quite well if you have him in the background a little bit. It's an impressive figure for Odin. And yeah, these two look great together. But this shows you how big this four figure is. He's literally nearly at the same height as the Builder figure. So final thoughts, this figure makes me want to see the movie even more. Very impressive figure. Uh, I really, really think Hasbro have done a great job with how accurate this guy looks compared to what we've seen in the trailer so far. And I'm sure it's going to be very movie accurate as well. But yeah, love the colour palette, love the face scan. Um, just like the design, I think, of this four a lot. Uh, as I said, makes me want to see the film more. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the quick sort of review rundown from myself. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as I am going to be reviewing the rest of this wave. Obviously finishing with the Hulk, Gladiator, Builder figure, whatnot. But until then, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this four figure. Are you looking forward to the four Ragnarok movie and whatnot? And I shall see you on the next one, pal.